Hello, today we will be unboxing slash unwrapping, whatever you like to call it, the Joker action figure from Toonie Comics. This is from uh, NECA. I saw the design of this and absolutely loved it, so I decided to pick it up. It was only $10. I got it from uh, my local, I believe it was uh, Walmart. And um, if you have this figure, let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. And this is going to be uh, just an unboxing slash a uh, review for the figure as a whole. So anyway, without further ado, shall we begin? So to start off, here's the front of it. As you can see, it says NECA. You got the Batman symbol, and then Toonie Comics, warning, token hazard uh, for ages 14 and up. And then we got the Joker figure right there, and the accessories that he comes with is a playing card, the hat, and then the acid coming out of the flower. And then as you can see, it says the Joker, and then uh, just like comic panels and all that DC. Then if we take a look at the bottom side of it, that's what that looks like. The side of it, the other side of it. And then the back. He does come with a backdrop if you decide to use it. I usually don't because I think I'm just going to display him next to my comic books. But it's still a pretty cool figure nonetheless. And as you can see it says Toonie Comics, uh, DC, Kaboom. And then you can cut out the backdrop and all that. You got the Ferris wheel, the roller coaster. Just the abandoned fun house as a whole. Which is actually really, really cool. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to unboxing this figure because honestly it looks like a really great figure. But anyway... Let's get out of its packaging, shall we? And this isn't the only figure that I have to do an unboxing as well. I also got a Black Adam that I got on Prime Day, and I can't wait to unbox that one as well. But let's get out of its packaging the best that we can. Uh, there we go. So it actually came off quite nice. I'm actually happy about that. And then we're just going to take him out of that right there. That's just the plastic box right there. So, let's take him out. Get the hat out. Uh, get him out. Joker, that is. Um, if you follow this channel at all, you know I'm a ginormous Joker fan. So, anything related, I should let, I'll probably end up trying to get because that's just like the Joker fan that I am. But, uh, let's get the playing card out. And then the acid. As it all just uh, kind of pops out. There we go. And then, let's... Uh, Let's get him out. Best that we can. Let's give him a little wire. There we go. Alright. So we're going to put that over there. And then let's see if he stands on his own. Which he does not. So that's awesome. But let me try it like right here. Where you can still kind of see it. No. Okay. It looks like he's going to need something to uh, stand with. Which is okay. We'll figure out something for that. But... This is everything that he comes with, so I'm going to flip the camera around so we can get a better look at him. So this is what it looks like. We got the Joker figure right there, the hat, and then the acid, and then the playing card. If we take a look at the back of him, that's what it looks like. Um, sadly, he does not stand on his own, so that is a little disappointing, but I think I got an idea because I think, honestly, I'm just going to put him right up there where that big uh, empty spot is next to Batman Nightfall, so that should be all right. But anyway, that's what it looks like just like that. And then the hat, which is pretty cool. Hopefully it sticks on his head. It looks like it's uh, made to fit inside his head, so that should be good. And then we got the little acid that comes out that goes into the flower. And then we got the Joker playing card, which says J on one side and it's just uh, red on the other. So let's get them all set up, shall we? Alrighty, so we'll put the uh, acid in there best that we can stuff isn't really molded to fit in perfectly but i guess if we can uh, just get it somewhat without breaking it which seems like that's going to be a bit of a difficult situation because why would it want to fit in <laughs> there we go trial and error if this takes forever i'll probably just end up speeding up this part of the video you see me struggling enough fast motion all right so that's not going to go in perfectly but the hat let's try the hat there we go okay so the hat does kind of fit then the playing card does uh fit right into the hand like that so the only thing i'm really struggling with is uh the acid but i guess we can kind of just makeshift that as it goes but anyway oh man there we go just hold him down. <laughs> there he is. 
and there he is in all his glory, just uh, pretty much complimenting the comic books, and I'm happy to have him here. Um, I did eventually get that in the little acid, but it did end up breaking a little bit, but I'm still happy to have him in this any Joker figure I do want as part of my collection. But anyway, there he is amongst all the DC comic books. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe so that you can make more of these. If you have any video requests, please leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to reply. As I now have a few video requests, and those are being made. But if you do have any others, just let me know. As long as it's in my capability of making it, I will be making it. And if you have this Joker figure, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. Sadly, um, the acid did kind of break for me. As you could see right here, like a piece of it did come off. And um, it kind of worked out better that way because now the acid actually fits into his flower. So I guess Yes, it is what it is but anyway thanks for watching as always and i'll see all of you in the next video bye